In this video, you will learn how to split your video, how to delete unwanted part, and how to add text to your video using Filmora 14. This is my third lesson in the series, talking about Filmora 14, okay? So, I hope this video is helpful for you. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Jackie. I'm from Vietnam. I've been making Filmora tutorials since 2017. So it's been seven years with Filmora, and I think it is a good software. So if you want to try it, I will put the link in the description for you, okay? And if you want to buy it, don't forget to use my affiliate link so that I can get a small commission when promoting the software, okay? And now they have basic and advanced and perpetual. So they have different license. So for me, I think perpetual license is, is better for you because it will allow you to use the software for life and you cannot upgrade to the newer version like Filmora 15 or 16 or 17 but you can use Filmora 14 for life so I think it's the best one by the way now they are promoting the advanced license so it is 35 US dollar for one year and it is cross-platform for Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android device and they have AI credit inside here also Okay, so if you want to purchase any plan, just go to their website or use the link in the description to support my channel. Okay, and this is my Filmora 14, and this is the classic user interface. If you want to have the same user interface like me, you can go to the layout here. Just click the layout mode right here and select classic. Otherwise, it would be the default one, okay? So I prefer the classic one. And this is one of the project that I'm making for my YouTube channel. It is my Vietnamese channel. So first thing, you need to double check your project. And this is for uploading to YouTube. So I select 16 by 9 for the aspect ratio. And the resolution is 1080p. Frame rate is 24. So we want to go to file and check our project setting first. Okay, and this is aspect ratio. It is 16 by 9 and you need to do the same. But if you want to upload short or TikTok video, you want to change it to 9 by 16, okay? And here is the resolution. I will select 1920 by 1080p, okay? For the frame rate, 24 frames per second. And you can save it as default. So next time when you create a new project, it will be this setting, okay? So we want to click OK. So the first thing you want to do is to split the video. And it is super easy. So on the timeline, we have a playhead like this. If you want to split the video at any position, you want to just move the playhead to the position that you want to split, and that you want to click this button. Click to split. Okay. So by doing that, it will split the video right here, or split the selected video on the timeline. What if you want to split multiple objects on the timeline? You can do the same. For example, if you don't select anything, you just put the playhead here and then you can hit the split button. It will split everything on the timeline. Okay, for example, this is a title, this is a title, and this is a video. And maybe we have a music or any sound effect right here. We can just click this button to split everything like this. You see that? It split everything. So this is how you can split a video or anything on the timeline using Filmora 14. And you can also use a shortcut. By the way, in order to set up your shortcut, you need to go to this position, okay? So this is the button to set up your shortcut. Just click here at the toolbox. And then you see this is the keyboard shortcut. Click here. Because I already changed the split key, so I have to show you again. And here you can select the tools to change the split key, okay? Just click the tool and here. You see that this is a split Normally, it would be the control B on your keyboard, but I set it to S because I think it is easier for me. By the way, to change the shortcut, you want to click here and then you want to press the shortcut on your keyboard, control B. This is the default one. By the way, I want to change it to S, okay? And then we can click OK to go back to the timeline. And you can set up the shortcut for other tools also, okay? So that is how to split the video. And next thing you want to do is to delete a part on the timeline. So it is very easy. So there are some simple way to do that. For example, if you want to delete this part on the timeline, you want to select it, and then you want to click this chat button. It is the delete button, okay? Just click here to delete it. And sometimes if you enable the auto report, it will just 
pull everything on the right to the left so that is repo delete or auto repo let me show you how to do that but if we want to undo we can press ctrl z to undo and we can select it on the timeline and then we can turn on the auto repo now in femoro 14 this is the auto repo button you can click it to enable it and now when you press the delete button it will put everything on the right to the left like this so we can click the delete button okay you see that it just put everything on the right to the left okay so let's control z press control z so that is how to delete an object on the timeline using femoro 14 and next up if you want to crop a video because cropping is very common when editing video it is very simple for example at this video i want to crop to my face so that it has a crop effect like this for example at this position i want to crop to my face so first thing i want to split the video at this position okay and then i can select it and then i can select the crop button right here okay and this is the crop area so first thing we want to select the aspect ratio first if it is not 16 by 9 or it is original ratio or stuff like that we want to change it to 16 by 9 with our project aspect ratio okay and then we can adjust this box so i want to crop to this area and we can preview it okay and then we can click apply so this is a crop effect content creator và streamer tức là những cái người mà kiểu làm sáng tạo that's nice right and now what if at this position i want to crop back to full screen so we can split the video again and then we can select the crop button right here and adjust the box this box okay to make it full screen and then we can click apply and this is the cropping and crop to full screen content creator và streamer tức là những cái người mà kiểu làm sáng tạo nội dung nhưng mà thì kiểu so that's nice, right? By the way, at the crop button, we also have pan and zoom. So if you want to make a zoom in effect or zoom out effect, you can select pan and zoom. By the way, you want to adjust this box also. There is start and end box right here, and you have some preset right here. For example, zoom in and zoom out, and pan right and pan left, and switching, stuff like that. And we can click apply. By the way, I want to go back to crop. So we want to go full screen at this position and click apply so that is how to split the video how to delete the video and how to crop video it is very easy right and now what if you want to add a simple text on the video like this for example operational manual so this is a simple text we can edit easily in Femoral 14 okay so for example at this position i want to add a text now first thing i want to use this button this is add text or quick text so we can click here and select quick text okay and now we have a box on the timeline and this is the text here so we want to move it to the position we want on the video okay and we can double click at the text here and select text so we want to change the text so this uh, i'm sorry I just press uh, the X key on my keyboard so we want to double click again and then we can change the text here this is text okay and we can change the forms my favorite and this is the text and we can change the size 40 okay and we can change the style so there are many things about the text right here by the way this is the text so this is a normal text without animation and if we want to adjust the position on the timeline we can just move it to any any place we want okay and this is the text it will appear like this nice right and if we want to add animation there are two ways to add animation to this text the first way is to double click at the text and then we can select animation we can select text first and then we can select animation now we will have in out and loop animation so for example in we can select typewriting something like this and we can select out fade out okay and for loop we have some animation for loop by the way i don't want to select it and we can click okay so this is the first way to add animation to text Bạn là một là cái người review. Thì... nice right and we can even add motion to text also for example at this 
this tag we can double click and then we can select video and now we can select animation and now we have preset motion legacy by the way we have another option here we is a preset animation we can add some keyframe to this tag also so we can select yeah first thing motion legacy and we can click here down up one and we can double click so it will be in animation and motion okay and we can click okay and something will look like this nice right so that is how to add text to your video using free mode 14. by the way there's another way to add text to video is to use a template so you want to use the template you want to go to title okay so at the title we have many templates for example we have this one this is a lower third and this one is another lower third and this is a title so we can just scroll down here to drag and drop it here and we have another yeah, cool simple one like this and we can change it to our name Shaky Nguyen stuff like that and your present YouTube well okay we have a lower third like this so this is how to use the template okay so that is how to add text to your video using Fimo 14 and now what if you want to add transition between clip in Filmora so I think it is also very easy all you need to do is to split the video at the position you want to add transition okay for example here we have a split video and now we can go to the transition tab and select a category here fade and this or zoom or stuff like that so maybe zoom and I can download this transition okay so this is a preview something will look like this nice right and we can just drag and drop it here between clip and we have a zoom transition like this and if you want to adjust the duration you want to double click at the transition and change the type and the duration to one second and click OK and if you want to apply the same duration to all the transition you can click here apply to all okay and click OK and if you want to apply one transition to all the split in the video it is also very simple so you can select all the video here with a split on your timeline and you can right click at the transition and click this button apply so it will add the same transition to all the split on the timeline okay something like this so we have the zoom at all the position the split position next up what about speeding up and slow down your video so you want to select the video here on the timeline and then you want to select the speed button okay select it and we have uniform speed and speed ramping so there are two options normal speed and speed ramping by the way if you want to slow down the video you have to have an empty gaps here on the timeline for example you have to move the video here so that it has some space here because when you slow down the video it will make the clip longer on the timeline okay so this is the video we can select it again and select slow so 0 0.5 okay something like this so this is a slow down video and if we want to speed up the video we can select it and select the speed again and fast two times okay something like this okay so i think that's enough for today's video you learn something just split the video delete the video add transition crop video and also speed up and slow down your video in Filmora 14. i hope this video is helpful for you if you want to learn more Filmora tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more video like this thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video. Goodbye.